Hi guys, in this episode of my vlog, I'm going to share my experience buying and selling shares at the Kuala Lumpur Stocks Exchange using the Rakuten iSpeed.my app. So if you're interested in that, then keep on watching. So yeah, all this while, I have not been buying and selling shares at the Kuala Lumpur Stocks Exchange directly. I thought it's going to be a complicated process and that I need a lot of money to do that. But I found out recently how off the mark I was because it turns out with the Rakuten app, I could register and use a nominal account in a matter of days if not hours and that I don't really need a training to figure things out. I just watch a video or two on YouTube and I could be buying and selling shares straight away. Also, I found out that I just need about 100 ringgit or even as little as 40 ringgit to buy shares. So the amount I think is quite doable to any working Malaysians. Anyway, my application took two days to be processed because I have to look up my income tax number. Otherwise, I think it would have taken me less than a day to get the app up and running. But I'm not too sure if you are working for yourself or if you are a student and you haven't got an income tax file yet on whether it's possible to skip that part of the process. So if anyone know anything about that, then please leave your comment in the comment section below. Anyway guys, so here's the app. So I have a cash account with Rakuten which means that I have to deposit some cash before I can start buying shares. So to cash a deposit, I just need to use the menu there. And then it would ask for all the details and it would accept fund transfer from most local bank. And if you want to withdraw your cash, then you just need to click on the cash withdrawal and then you can withdraw your cash from your trust account to the bank associated with your name. So the next thing to know is just to have a watch list, which is basically just a list of companies that you might be interested to buy your share from. So you can do your search here. For example, if I'm searching for RHP Bank then I can just click on RHP Bank and then I just need to add it to my watch list by going to the action button and then I just need to add it to my watch list so here's my watch list so these are some of the shares that i'm interested to buy they are like uh, shares for maxis bank islam telecom malaysia tenaga national fgv holding and so on and so forth so from the watch list if I want to buy a share, then I just need to click on their name and then I just need to click on the action button. And if I want to buy, then I just need to click on the buy order. So it would ask me the account that I want to buy the share from. But currently I just have 5 ringgit in my account. so. I can't really buy any shares actually but as an example if I want to buy the shares then this one should be under board and the order limit could be either limit or market if you choose the market price then your transaction is likely to go through but if you put to limit then you would put the exact value that you want to buy your share so the value could be lower than the market value right now so right now the market value is 28 cent if you want to limit it you can buy below that price so if you want to buy say 
for example, at um, 27 cent, then you can put it at that price. So this is going to be lower than the market price. And then you just need to put the quantity. So one would equal to a hundred shares. And then you just need to put your trade pin and how long your order is going to be valid. And after that, you can just send it to the exchange. So anyway, once you already buy a share that would appear on your portfolio. So to see that share, you just need to click on portfolio. So for example, this is my portfolio. And if, for example, if I want to sell my Parkson shares, then I just need to go to this sell order menu and do a similar thing by putting the uh, whether it's a limit or market order and then putting the price and the quantity and once I put my pin then the order will be sent to the exchange and then the proceed will go to my cash account so yeah that's it guys that's how simple it is to buy and to sell shares at the Kuala Lumpur Stocks Exchange using the Rakuten iSpeed.my app yeah I really wish I've known about this sooner so that I could have invested sooner but I guess it's better late than never anyway guys I'll leave my referral link in the description box down below in case if you guys want to download the app so that we can both get Rakuten point to lower our brokerage fee also don't forget to like to comment and to subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video